Hey guys, welcome back to another video. We're gonna do a quick unboxing. I picked up the Asus uh, AA6000, CMAX6000, just uh, cable modem router. Um, currently, I am in a residential place where uh, I can only get Xfinity uh, coming off of uh, Verizon Fios before. Um, so now, um, if you are a Xfinity customer or, or you actually have to hook up to a coaxial cable, um, you already know that you are probably have some equipment in your home or your residential place to where you actually have to use or you thought you had to use their particular equipment. But if you go out and you check your uh, your monthly bill, your Xfinity, Comcast, um, and a couple of those other providers, Verizon and so forth, is actually charging you 10, 15 bucks a month to actually lease that particular equipment. Um, so if you've ever experienced, you know, uh, ending your contract and moving, going to another service provider, you always have to return that equipment. It's because you actually don't own it. So here I've discovered uh, with Verizon and now with uh, uh, Comcast Xfinity, you actually can purchase your own cable modem and therefore you won't have to utilize uh, their equipment. You pay for your cable modem and then you can use it, um, you know, um, Depending on if you're accessing coaxial cable, you can utilize it across different uh, internet service provider vendors. So we're going to do a quick unboxing. I picked this uh, Asus cable modem up uh, from uh, Micro Center. Um, it was about listed at around 280 bucks uh, uh, after the sale they had going on, of course, for the holidays. So we'll just um, open it up and see. Uh, what it's actually supporting. Um, this guy here supports uh, uh, MIMO antennas. Uh, looks like it's got uh, Wi-Fi 6 also um, faster than AC. So it's got uh, Wi-Fi AX, yeah, Wi-Fi 6 in it. Um, now, currently I won't be utilizing this for my Wi-Fi uh, internal connection and I'll, I'll get into that a little bit later um, but the reason I went with this guy versus uh, another name brand is just simply because I've got other uh, Asus Wi-Fi routers um, that I'll probably get into in another video um, but as you can see down here at the bottom this is certified by Spectrum Xfinity so the vendor has done some sort of testing to ensure that this particular Wi-Fi uh, cable modem does uh, is supported by um, their coaxial cable connections so um, I've always loved uh, Asus uh, routers Wi-Fi routers I've never pretty much had any problems from them versus like I play with some Netgear stuff but um, I've never really had issues so I've always stayed with Asus um, of course network support information safety information um, warranty notice. So if you buy from Micro Center, like most places, they offer you a warranty also. So I'm sure I've got some sort of uh, one year uh, warranty support with Asus. Um, but again, I've got uh, Asus routers that are like um, four or five years old. And then I also have the, the new Asus uh, Wi-Fi Mesh 6, maybe like a year old. So I've never had any issues. Um, fast and easy setup. So currently what you're looking at now is um, typically you would have the internet coming in to your, uh, your home and then you would have the vendor's uh, cable modem sitting there. So this device replaces that. So you don't have to get any equipment from them. All you need is that cable, coaxial cable here coming in from the internet. Um, you're going to plug this guy up, direct connect to them, and then you're probably going to have to give them a call and, and let them know that you're running this particular device. You brought your own, what they call bring your own device, and um, they'll enable the signal connection coming in, um, and then you hook up your laptop computer and so forth. Um, steps look pretty easy. I've done this before, uh, again, on Asus routers, but it was with uh, Verizon Files. So I, I brought my own device with them and, and saved that monthly charge. This is pretty big. So this guy here, 
pretty big guy, pretty wide. Never seen one that wide before. Yeah, the new ones are pretty slim. I'll show you one of those guys here in a second. Let me just open. All right. And so here's exactly what you need. Um, the co coaxial cable, uh, female port. So you'll plug that guy in. Of course, it uh, comes with a power cable, I'm sure. Yeah. See what we got here. Uh, typical Cat Five cable. I've got my own um, power cable. So it comes with four LAN ports. Uh, I believe I checked already. These are uh, Gigabyte ports. So. Um, I'll be connecting those two. Uh, I've got some heart lines that I'm gonna run simply for uh, some of the TVs that are streaming and so forth. Of course, here, come your, here are your lights. Um, that's gonna give you notifications, um, your power light, uh, your status lights. Uh, I know you probably can't see this too good. Internet connectivity, uh, LAN connectivity, and then wireless connectivity. So once we get this guy um, cabled up, I'm going to show you a difference between um, the size difference. So this is my um, Asus um, Wi-Fi 6 router uh, that supports AI mesh coming from Asus. It's pretty cool. Um, just want to show you a size difference. Comes with these antennas that you can just kind of pick up here. So major size difference there, but um, still. Um, but again, this guy here replaces uh, the need for the vendor's equipment. So you'll have your cable connection coming into here. Um, you can run uh, a LAN cable, your Cat5 cable that we kind of just talked about from here to this guy, and then disable your Wi-Fi here if you have your own uh, dedicated Wi-Fi router. If not, you can just utilize this for your uh, Wi-Fi connections also and your cable connections. So my setup is gonna be a little bit different too because I've got a hardware firewall uh, integrated into my network. So mine is gonna be a little bit different from the typical, you know, just generic setup, but you can definitely just utilize this um, with your coaxial cable, um, enable the Wi-Fi, set up your username and password, your Wi-Fi signals, and then you can just rock off of this one guy. Um, that's just, you know, if you, I'll just kind of give you a different scenario if you had a separate uh, router here. But this guy here, you know, looks pretty good. Um, you know, something that you can take, throw in a corner or behind a chair or a couch or something like that, and you should be good to go. So again, um, this will be connected today. Um, I'm gonna do some testing. I'll do a follow-up video to let you know um, sort of how it's been performing with you know performance and speeds. And of course, I'm you know I'm gonna check some speeds out um, and and so forth and see how it integrates with my firewall and so forth and see if I have any issues with that. Um, and then I'll get back to you and let you know. Thanks for watching.